What's up guys? Welcome back to the Home Slice. I'm doing something of an early morning shoot so the sun is just just coming up out there but I've got just enough light to shoot a video so I hope you enjoy the different lighting today. It's a beautiful morning but cold one here in New Zealand. We're hitting the autumn at the filming of this and so but I probably will publish it when it's autumn in the northern hemisphere so can identify with some of you guys. <laughs> Today I'm working with an edge on this Victorinox. I'm going to do another test with Andy, the a near-death experience rope. This is some 40 millimeter manila rope which I've got for edge testing here so that we can do some sort of more objective and quantifiable comparisons between edges. First on these Victorinox knives and then we're gonna test everything, you know? So this is my final fine edge. I've tested a lot of fine edges that have performed well. Today I'm going to do one that was honed down to 0.1 micron lapping film. Now lapping film in my experience leaves a really aggressive edge. Uh, I've seen research on the science of sharp website where he shows that lapping film can often leave a little foil burr which is detrimental to edge retention and so I was really careful with this one I got it down to the 0.1 micron and then I sort of alternated between the denim strop which tends to take off a foil burr with certain methods of stropping and so I went edge trailing strokes on the lapping film and then I would go on the denim to try to remove that foil, foil burr and then I went back to the lapping film really light to try to just really refine that edge hopefully without creating another foil burr really feather light strokes I went from a 1 micron lapping film to a 0 0.5 to a 0 0.3 to a 0 0.1 so this is a very very fine edge <laughs> and we're gonna see how it does in terms of the kilograms that it takes to slice through it on the angle rig here and the 40 millimeter manila rope and we'll do best tests throughout and we'll finish with a toughness test to see if banging it into a block of pine with a 5 kg weight changes the best reading at all. So let's get into it. I should mention I'm going to be using this tungsten carbide scribing tool that my friend Alex sent me to mark the spot where the edge actually contacts the test line, the best test line. I don't know guys, it seems like this has actually stopped initiating cuts through new fibers. Yeah, it's not actually, yeah, it's not actually severing new fibers. So very, very poor, very, very, very poor performance from this particular lapping film edge. Now, does that mean lapping film is bad? No, I don't think so. I think lapping film has its uses, but going back and forth from a denim strop to lapping film clearly did not produce 
an edge with good aggressiveness for this sort of a task. Just as a sort of experiment, let's give it a couple rounds on just lapping film with no denim and see if that salvages the edge because I am a bit perplexed. I was excited about, actually excited about this edge. So let's just see if we can rough and quick um, bring that back to a fresh edge on lapping film. I'm just going to do the one micron lapping film because it'll go faster. Okay, alternating. a very keen edge there. Best test it. Two sixty six, that's exactly the same reading. Okay, well, I'm not sure. Maybe we're still leaving a foil burr on there, which is sort of sabotaging our results here. I know that you can get good results. I see good guys get good results with lapping film. I wonder if it's the sort of thing where you need a preset angle system to really deliver those results. You need like a Wicked Edge or a KME, I don't know. Yeah, this has, this has ceased to initiate new cuts, um, sever new fibers again. So definitely the most poor result so far. Let's take a final best test and see where the edge got. I, I think that it's just too fine for this task. I think that 0 0.1 micron or like the surface created by one micron lapping film is maybe just a little bit too keen for this particular application of, of cutting manila rope. You gotta tell me, okay? I, I'm not I'm not an expert in lapping film. I like to use this stuff from time to time. But I want to hear from you guys who use this, how do you get it to produce good results? Is there a secret I'm missing or I mean I know that there's other tests there's cardboard and stuff like that and I know that the results aren't always uniform so I know that maybe lapping film really excels at a different particular kind of test but thus far I have not found it to produce super good results in my rope cutting tests I'm guessing the edge is still going to be relatively fine, like in the 300s, but I think it's just rounded. I think it's just rounded over. Oh, no way. Wow, that edge is gone. It just gone 659. It didn't even make it through the rope. That is astoundingly different. Guys, that is like that is astoundingly different than like the Spider Co Ultra Fine. Like you could put the same like style of edge on two Victorinox knives, Spider Co Ultra Fine, lapping film. And you could use edge trailing strokes, really gentle, and they would feel really similar. They would both split a hair. Like, let me emphasize this. They both were capable of splitting hairs before this test. I should, I should have taken video, but um, if, you, if you doubt me, I'll, I'll make a little short and demonstrate it to you. Okay, you could, you could sharpen the same way with lapping film 
and Spyderco Ultra Fine Stone, and I am getting wildly different results, like incredibly different results. I think the lapping film either rounds or smooths the edge to an extent that it's not super good for this test, this particular test, or it's leaving a little bit of the wire edge intact there where the Spyderco Ultra Fine has predominantly taken it off. The Spyderco Ultra Fine, guys, it cut through this rope three times in both tests, ending at numbers in the 400s, like the low 400s. Let's see. 462 and 431. After three times through the manila rope, this thing is rocking 659, not even having made it halfway. I'm just astounded. Guys, talk to me about this. Have you experienced this? Am I doing something wrong with the lapping film? What is your guys' method? What is your guys' thoughts? Okay, if you want to see the Spyderco Ultra Fine results, check out this video right here. Peace out, guys.